Hi friends, welcome to Atrash Ino Day by T3 Solutions. This video will be helpful for CPSC 12th grade students to get an idea about art integration. At the end of the video, I will teach you how to move an object in a customized motion path. This presentation is about surface chemistry. Let's see what is adsorption. The accumulation of molecular species at the surface rather than in the bulk of a solid or liquid is termed as adsorption. The substance on which the adsorption takes place is called adsorbent and the substance adsorbed is called adsorbate. Also, adsorption leads to a decrease in the residual forces on the surface of the adsorbent. This causes a decrease in the surface energy of the adsorbent which appears as heat. Therefore, adsorption is always exothermic. Heat of adsorption It is the amount of heat evolved when one mole of adsorbate is adsorbed on the surface of adsorbent. If there is adsorption, then there must be a reverse process, right? That is called desorption. It is a process of removing an adsorbed substance from a surface on which it is adsorbed. Now let us understand absorption. It is a phenomenon in which the substance is uniformly distributed throughout the bulk of the solid. So how do we differentiate absorption from adsorption? In absorption, the substance is uniformly distributed throughout the bulk of the solid, thus it is a bulk phenomenon. Whereas in adsorption, the molecules will be accumulated only in the surface rather than in the bulk, therefore it is a surface phenomenon. When we say surface, we are talking about the last few layers of atoms of molecules of any substance. When both adsorption and absorption takes place simultaneously, then it is called sorption. Positive adsorption When the adsorbate is accumulated more on the surface of adsorbent, in relative to its bulk, it is termed as positive adsorption. Negative adsorption When the adsorbate is accumulated more on the bulk of the adsorbent in relative to its surface, then it is called negative adsorption. Here I will teach you how to give an object a customized motion path. You can watch our other PowerPoint videos through our channel at Rajinode. Let's make a spear. First, we have to insert a circle. Make sure home tab is selected and then select circle. Or if you want, you can also go to the insert tab, shapes and then select your shape. Now we are going to select the circle or oval. Hold shift and drag in order to create a perfect circle. I'm going to remove the outline. So in order to do that, we have to select shape outline and then click no outline. Now let me change the diameter of the circle to 0 0.5. In order to do that, select the circle shape format and then we have to change the height and width to 0 0.5. Let me change the color. In order to do that, select shape fill and then if you want to choose a color from here you can choose that or if you want more colors you have to click more fill colors. Now you can select from here or if you want you can go to standard and now I am going to select 
this color and now press ok now you can see I changed the color now in order to convert the circle into a sphere select the circle right click format shape effects 3d format and then change the top and bottom bevel to a round bevel in order to do that click here and then select round bevel do the same to the bottom bevel still it is not a sphere in order to convert it into a sphere we must multiply the diameter of the circle with 36 which is 0 0.5 multiplied by 36 which is 18 now we must change the width and height of both the bevels to 18 if we do that we will get a perfect spear now it looks like a spear you can also rotate the spear by selecting the spear right click format shape FX 3d rotation and now you can use all the functions to rotate the spear now I'm going to make the X rotation 300 You can also use the other functions like this to rotate the spear. But now I'm going to leave it as it is. Now I'm going to make two more spears. For that, hold control and drag the spear. Do it again. Now let me just arrange all the spears. Now I'm going to give each of the spheres a customized motion path. Motion path is the most interesting type of custom animation. A motion path lets you create a track along which the object travels when animated. PowerPoint provides you with 64 predefined motion paths such as circles, stars, teardrops, springs, spirals and so on. If you are not satisfied with this, you can draw your own custom path to make an object travel anywhere on the slide. Let's see. First select the spear. Go to animations. Add animation. And then now you can see there are some predefined motion paths. If you want more, you can go to more motion paths as you can see here. But for now, we are only going to use custom path click custom path left click where you want to start hold left mouse button and drag to draw the path and when you reach the end position either press escape or double click remember the path will be followed by the center point of the object you are animating if you want to edit the path, select the path, right click, go to edit points. N now by dragging the points, you can edit the paths, as you can see here. You can try it for yourself. If you want to delete the path, select the path and press delete. Now you can see I have drawn the path for all the objects. Let's play the animation. That's all for today. Like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.